Hi everyone. This is the first week, the end of the first week in March, and I want to just show you that um, we pretty much have all of our organic mulch spread at this point. It's taken us a little longer than I thought, um, just because I don't have a lot of time to come out. But looking down at our field, see, you can see the organic mulch put around. Now, one thing about the South is that sometimes we get very, very beautiful weeks in February and early March where it hits the 80s and everything's lovely and all of the green starts coming out. Then in a few weeks, uh, two years ago, it was on April 3rd or something, we got a, a freeze and it killed three quarters or more of my chestnut crop. So one of the disadvantages of living in the South is that sometimes the um, sometimes we get these beautiful warm early springs and then a freeze. So um, this tree right here, I've been told that the chestnut, the female flowers, will come from these early buds, and that's why a late freeze will um, kill your crop. Now because these are seedlings some of the trees don't have any growth on them at all or are just starting to have growth on them so the year two years ago when we got that late frost um, enough of these had late starts so that i was able to harvest 300 pounds as opposed to the 1200 pounds i harvested the year before um, so let's just wait and see now until we can get up past our last frost date um, very early in April. You can see this one is really going to town leafing out where several of the surrounding trees haven't budded out hardly at all. So once again this is because I have seedlings and they all have different genetics um, that show up in the different trees. Now next Saturday I plan to come out here and remove all of these tree tubes because I don't want bugs to start growing in them and wasps to start building their nests. Um, if the ambrosia beetles have come, they've probably already come. I'll see if I lose any trees this year. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.